the stock market included. Um, not as dramatically, but eventually it will be. Uh, but anyway, um, and the, the problem with real estate though is it's not it's not liquid. Uh, you, you can't you can't get out of real estate, okay? Because you got to sell the house. I mean, you, you're stuck with this thing that you got to get rid of. So if the prices stop dropping, it's not like oil where you can just get the hell out. You're stuck with it. It's there's no getting out. Um, you know, somebody's got to get stuck with it. Um, so it's a different ball game. It's not like a stock market when you're just stealing some other rich person's money. <laughs> you're stealing the life of people have to who've, who've lost the, lost the value of the only asset they had. Um, but anyway, that's a side issue. Uh, so anyway, so look, so the part of this theory is it's just this whole interest thing. There's no such thing as wealth or money generated from any other source. You have to take it from somebody else. If you expect your pile of stuff to get bigger, your surplus stuff, whether it's a house or whether it's anything you call your surplus, your commodity, the thing you own, if you expect it to get bigger, to grow, to make you money, the only way it can make you money is it has to take it from somebody else. So it has to take it out of a worker's productivity or it has to directly take it out of a consumer's pocket. Those are the only two ways. You can't, it's none of it's free. There's no such thing as a free rich person. They all cost us, our, our standard of living is decreased by them. They are not free. They, be, they, they become monarchs. You think a monarch was free? He didn't cost the society anything. You could have had a king that was as opulent and spent and spent and spent and bored and did this and did all this, and it wouldn't matter. The people wouldn't have to pay for it. Of course they would have to pay for it. And we're in the same boat here now. All these little mini monarchs. Maybe there's, maybe there's not just one man anymore, but there's only a few thousand of these people, okay, that own us all. They're the ones that hold that, those trillions of dollars in debt. And those trillions of dollars in national debt mean that none of you own any of the crap you think you own. They own your ownership, um, to put it in a strange way. You, you think you own? No, you don't own. They own. Um, and it's uh, not a good circumstance because you're, you're broke. <laughs> you know, you got nothing. You're a renter. Because that ownership comes at a price. And the price is they expect their commodities to increase in value. They want their stuff pile keeps growing. It keeps growing. It keeps growing. That's how they've engineered the world. And so if their stuff is distributed among you, they own it still. And they still expect it to grow. And that's what we have got we gotta come to that realization. There's no free lunch. There's no free rich people. They all cost us money. A lot of money. They cost us our lifestyle. They cost us wasted work. Um, wasted time, unproductivity, inefficiency, they're hugely expensive and uh, it's no real pain to get rid of them. There's no horror. It's, it's less than a slaughterhouse to take their control away from them. It's less of a horror than what takes place every day all over this country to a bunch of innocent animals who did nothing to no one. <laughs> that's, the, that, that's how crazy this is. I mean, it, it cost nothing for them to just release control of our lives, release their ownership of our lives. Um, so anyway, simple solution. Uh, and the problem isn't that complex after all. Uh, money's created by productive work. So if you got it, you own productive work. You own somebody's life. And it's just that simple. And so if you have a big pile of it, that's what it represents. It represents a lot of people dying in coal mines, doing this, doing that. It, it represents real blood and sweat. It doesn't represent, it didn't grow on a damn tree, people. you got to understand that. Money, stuff, productivity, none of it grows on a damn tree. It has to come out of a human being who works. Jeez, really, isn't that complicated? So anyway, uh, enough of a video. So we'll see if we engage in some sort of real conversation about something, you know, direction, you got to do this direction thing, and then we got to, you know, but yeah, if you can motivate people, great, I know I'm not too good at motivating people, but I think I'm good at pointing at the direction, but we'll see, <laughs> see where it goes, eh, enough of a video, yeah, that's enough, alright, till next time.